Hi, and welcome to QuickBooks 3x5. My name is Jeremy Jones. I will be taking you through the very first QuickBooks 3x5 tutorial. And the very first thing that we're going to learn is how to convert your QuickBooks desktop version to QuickBooks Online. Now there's a few steps that you need to take in, in order to make sure that your QuickBooks file is compatible with the QuickBooks Online version. So let's jump right into it. The very first thing that we want to do is go ahead and log into our company file on the desktop version. Today we're going to be working with Lawns and More LLC. We'll go up to the help menu up here and down to update QuickBooks. Go to update now and get updates. This will ensure that you have all the updates and features necessary. And once it's complete, it'll tell you right over here on the left hand side, update complete. Go ahead and close that out. Next thing you want to do is go over to file, go down to utilities, and then verify data. It'll tell you that it's going to close out all the windows. Go ahead and press OK. And now that what the verification process does is look for any problem transactions or any problem lists. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than that, but it looks like det it detected no problems. If it did detect any problems, what you want to do, and it's not a bad idea to do this anyway, is go to File, Utilities, and go to Rebuild Data. Now it'll prompt you to back up the file, so that's why it's not a bad idea to go ahead and, and back it up one last time before you fully convert to QuickBooks Online. So let's go ahead and press OK and save that to where wherever you want to save it to. Now after the backup process, it'll go ahead and rebuild, and during the rebuild process, it'll clean up any of those, those problem transactions or problem lists. So after that's completed, we press OK. And there's one last thing that you want to do in the company file on QuickBooks Desktop. It is go to Company and then Export Company File to QuickBooks Online. Now if you're working with QuickBooks Enterprise, it does not have this option and you'll run into an issue right here. So um, just be aware that you will not have that opportunity to export company file to QuickBooks Online. Now when you do run into this problem, feel free to uh, email me at jeremy at jonesaccountingutah.com and I'd be happy to step you through that process. Now, uh, so you go to export company file. Now if you haven't had a QuickBooks online account before, go ahead and go down to this create a new account down here at the bottom. But if you're already a user and you've already set up your company file online and you haven't done anything with it, you just set it up. Let's go ahead and just type in our, since I already have one, I'll go ahead and type my username and password in. Go ahead and log in there. Now it's going to give you two options here. If you're a brand new user to QuickBooks Online, this is going to be the option that you select. It create a new QuickBooks Online company. If you already logged into QuickBooks Online, you set, another, set a company up, which I already have. Let's go and select that option, Lawns and More LLC, Lawns and More LLC up here as well. We'll go ahead and continue. Now, right before I continue, I want to warn you that if you have done any transactions in QuickBooks Online, uh, this will erase, it will uh, erase all, all the data that you previously did on QuickBooks Online. So you want to make sure that your QuickBooks desktop version is fully updated and make sure that you're not going to erase anything that you, that you would want to have. So during the uh, conversion process, they go ahead and take care of everything. QuickBooks takes care of everything for you, and they'll send you an email once it's complete. Now, after it, if you have a larger file, it, it might take a little bit longer than some, um, but it usually is within a few minutes if it's not too large of a, uh, of a company. So we'll go ahead and, okay, got it. And then we'll go ahead and go to QuickBooks Online and we'll go ahead and just sign in. And we'll just see if the, we'll see if it's converted fully. Now if you're able to log in and you're able to see the home screen right here, excuse me, I'm in the accountant version. If you're able to see the home screen, then you know that it's uh, downloaded completely. And the way you'll know this is you can go to reports, Go to the profit and loss, 
and we'll run it off of an accrual basis which is recommended just for this verification process um, and then you go to last year and run the report and you'll see that there's transactions on here you can you can go to uh, different places throughout just to make sure now down here at the bottom it will give you the net income for last year which was eight thousand five hundred eighteen dollars and seventy eight cents there's one last thing that you do need to do in QuickBooks Desktop is you want to run that exact same report. So we'll go to Reports, Company File, Profit and Loss, just like you always do. And then you'll want to go to the last fiscal year and refresh that. Go to Customize Reports. Make sure you're on that accrual report basis because you, if you pull a cash report basis and that'll pull a different it'll pull different numbers and you won't get the same numbers now if we go down and we look at the net income we see that eight thousand five hundred eighteen dollars and seventy eight cents is exactly the same so we know that the company file has converted all the way for 2013 um, and what you usually what you want to do is you can pull all dates um, and run report and uh, looks like we only had transactions in 2013 and if we go to all here we refresh that just to double check and we do have eight thousand five hundred eighteen dollars and seventy eight cents that is the end of the QuickBooks 3x5 uh, tutorial um, please let me know if you have any questions you can go to QuickBooks 3x5.com that's QuickBooks 3x5.com or qb3x5.com. Uh, thank you for tuning in and I look forward to helping you out in the next tutorial. Thank you.